Well, could you have him call me as soon as he comes in? I can't tell you how important this is. I know you haven't seen him yet, but... Thank you. Who was that? Farley's Bar. I know that Jonathan goes in there, and I thought that... He'd be there drinking this time of the morning? I have to find him, Joshua. Mm -hmm. I don't know where he lives. I don't know who he is. I don't know anything about him. You know enough to stay away from him, Reva. If I understand the situation correctly, he slept with Tammy, his cousin, took her virginity away on purpose to hurt you. Now, why would you even try to get close to this guy? Because he's my son. He is. Like, I know how awful and ugly this is, but I have to find him. Did you tell Cassie what happened? Not yet. I thought maybe if I waited until morning, it would get easier, but it's not. It's just, it's worse. It's so much worse. What can I do? How can I help? I don't know. I just, I don't know. He just must be so angry and so filled with hate. And I keep thinking maybe if I could find him, if I could talk to him and tell him what happened Stop. and tell him why I had to Stop. give him away. Stop trying to defend him. What he did was sick. It is inexcusable and there's nothing you can do to change that. He's my son, Joshua. And the last time I saw him, he was this little boy. He was sweet and beautiful. And what happened to him? I mean, what could make him hate me so much that he would do something like this to Tammy? Nothing can explain that. No. There's got to be a reason. Reva, he's a deeply disturbed young man. He's a predator. And you can't fix that. You can't fix him. If you get involved in trying to save this kid, it, it's going to be a problem for this entire family. <sighs> Look, all right, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not angry with you. I, I, I'm really not. I am furious with Jonathan and with Sandy for the agony that ha they have brought upon you and upon Tammy. I can't even imagine what this is going to do to her. I have to go talk to Cassie. I'll go with you. No. Reva, I don't want you to have to face no, this. Well, I don't want to have to face this at all, but I have to do it. I mean, how do I even start to tell Cassie? I mean, do I just blurt it out or do... I mean, how do you tell your sister that her daughter was... I have to go. You have to remember something, okay? Listen, just stop for a second. You are not responsible for this. Sandy and Jonathan, they made this mess. You have to start seeing them for what they are and deal with the reality of the situation. But whatever Jonathan is, whatever he's done, I gave birth to him. Reva, just... Tell me that you are not sleeping. We don't discuss your sex life. Why should we discuss mine? Because I'm hoping that you don't have one. It's okay, Mom. I'm 18. It had to happen sometime. You met him a few weeks ago. I mean, what could you possibly know about this kid? I know enough. Oh, God, how could this have happened? <laughs> I mean, you're my little girl who plays with dolls and likes to make peanut butter cookies. I'm not a little girl anymore. Oh, well, to me, you're always going to be my little girl, Tammy. Mom, don't look so sad. I've never been happier, ever. And I know JB doesn't get along with parents very well and all that stuff. But he's really a beautiful person, really. Oh. I said the same thing about your father, and he caused us so much pain, and now here you are doing the okay, same thing Okay, don't go all psychological did. on me, please. I need to go get some stuff out of storage. What stuff? Just some blankets and that old ice chest. It's okay, right? None of this is okay. Would you lighten up, Mom? Be happy for me. I really think I love him. Oh. Oh.
Cassie. It's Tammy. She! Oh, Kirk. JB, Tammy, they... I know. What? You know? I knew. I knew. I mean, I, I, that's why I was coming over here to tell you that I found out last night. This is the worst thing that could happen, ever. Well, no, it isn't. You should probably sit down. What's going on? I've been going over and over this in my head, trying to find the right way to tell you, but there are... Tell me! Is, tell me what? You know, Sandy isn't my son. Yes! And he's known about Jonathan for a while that, um... Well, that he's here in Springfield, and you've met him. Who? Oh. It's JB. JB? I mean, Tammy. It's Jonathan. No. No. Tammy and JB slept together, Reva. This, this, this cannot be true. I mean, this is not true. It's not true, okay? I, I think he went after her to get even with me. If I ever get my hands on that freak, I'm gonna kill him. <sighs> Tammy's this, she's in love with him. I mean, she told me that, Reva. She's in love with this guy. Oh, my God. I know it, I know it, I knew it. I knew there was something about this kid. I chalked it up to his attitude, the booze, but I knew it down deep in here. I knew it. And I should have done something to stop it. I should have done hey, something to I stop it. I don't think anyone could have stopped him. But look, it's done now, and we have to figure out a way to deal with it. How can you be so calm? How can you not want to rip this kid apart? What he did to Tammy, it's rape, Reva. He raped her. Cassie. No, no, don't, don't, don't you defend him. I'm don't not. You defend this I'm not, I'm not. I hate what he did. And I, 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 I hate this whole situation, but I can't hate him. Cassie, he's my son. Oh, Reva, when's the last time you've seen him? He was, what, six or seven? Come on. Yes, which means something horrible must have happened between then and now to make him behave this I way. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I will never care. I don't want to understand why he did it. And if you care anything about me or Tammy, you won't either. Cassie. No, there's nothing, nothing that you can say to make this better, Reva. I was going to say you're right. That I've been blind. But it's not your fault, Cassie. Reva. It's, it's not your fault. No, let me finish, please. I've made a lot of mistakes. And the moment that Sandy told me he was my son. I wanted to believe it because I wanted to believe that Jonathan was okay. That he could be in my life. That he could know me and that he could love me. That I could make up for all the time that I didn't have with him. But I should have known it was too perfect. That I should have looked at it more closely. Maybe if I had, then Tammy wouldn't have been hurt. But it's done now. It's done. So what we have to do is we have to find a way to, to, to make Tammy understand this. We have to find a way to, to tell her that won't make it so... Tell her. Uh, Tammy can never know about this. Never. And how would you feel if you were Tammy? How would you feel if you slept with your cousin? No, I, look, I know this is awful, but I don't know how we can not tell her who he is. We make him go away. We make him vanish. Sorry, Tammy, but your cute boyfriend, JB's left town. You can find somebody else. It won't work. Then we bribe him. And what if he doesn't take it? Or, or worse, what if he does accept it and then he comes back? And one night when you least expect it, you go in and Tammy's not in her bed. And there's a note there saying, I've gone away with JB and you don't know where in the world she is. Is that the way you want to handle no, this? No, no. Tammy has to know who he, he is so that she can stay away from him. Because the longer she's kept in the dark, the more at risk she is. rejected by Joey and now this guy comes along and she, how do I tell her? How? Would you rather I do it? No! Oh! No. No. I have to do this. I have to do this. 
It's gonna be okay. You'll find the words. You will. Because your love for her will be enough. Enough for what? You want me to stay? Remember that. Well, let me guess. You were figuring out how to keep me away from JB. Well, it's not gonna work. Tammy, come here. come here. No, I already told you. Nothing you can say will make me stop seeing him. You are such a... You're such a good person. I mean, you are, and you're caring, and you're giving, and I just want you to know I'm so proud that you're my daughter. Mom, what is going on? Oh. There's something I need to tell you. And it's... It's really bad. And it's about JB. He's, um... He's what? He's not who you think he is. Hi, Mom. I hear that you've been asking for me. It's about damn time. <laughs> 